this video I'm going to walk you through how to control your Android device from your computer. The process is very simple and all you'll need to do is run an application on your computer. You won't even need to install anything on your phone. So the first thing to do to get started is to enable USB debugging on the Android device, which I'll show you how to do. After that we'll connect the phone to the computer, uh, execute the application on the computer, then just run a little script to enable ADB over TCP or IP and then we'll unplug the device and then you'll be able to control your phone or your Android device from your computer wirelessly. So to get started we'll get the Android phone and I'll show you how to enable USB debugging if you're not familiar with that process. So on your phone you will need to go into settings then scroll to the bottom where you have about phone and then you'll want to tap on build number seven times. Your screen may look slightly different according to the phone model that you have. So let's tap build number one, two, three, four, six, seven. And there we go. Then it says to confirm my passcode. So I'll just do that. And there it says you are now a developer. So if we go back, we now need to find developer options. So you could either search for that uh, within your settings and then tap into developer options. Then within developer options we want to look for something called USB debugging. So here it is, USB debugging. So this just allows the SCRCPY software to communicate with the phone once we plug it in. So we'll enable USB debugging and then say OK. And that's done. And just while we're here, there's some useful other things that you can do. Uh, one thing that I always do is disable window animations so that the device builds much faster. Okay. Right, now that uh, USB debugging is enabled on the Android device, we'll just connect the phone to the computer via USB. You'll hear a little noise. There we go. Then on the phone it says allow USB debugging, so we'll just say allow. Okay, so now the next step is we just have to download SCRCPY, Screen Copy, which is a Jenny Mobile open source project on their GitHub page. So we can just Google that, SCRCPY, SCRCPY. Okay, here it is. Okay, so now this SCRCPY project is available for any operating system, Linux, Windows, Mac. So I've got a Windows machine here. So they've got a handy zip package here. I just have to download this. It includes everything that we need, like ADB, so that the computer can communicate with the phone. So we'll tap on it to download it. So I've got it downloaded here already. I'll just do it again. So once that's downloaded, all we have to do is we unzip it. Okay, so I'm going to extract it to, for now, I'll put it on the desktop. Because if you want to launch this again, you'll just have to run the executable from within this folder. So I'll keep it somewhere handy. I'll put it in desktop, in a new folder. Okay. So now if we go to the desktop, we should find that it's there, installed. If we open it up, all we have to do now is execute scrcpy.exe. And we should be able to control our phone via cable straight away. Okay, so I'll open that up. There we go, and we're straight into the phone. And that was very quick. And as you can see, it's very quick to respond. So there's there's no lag between trying to do something and it responding. So this this is probably the best way to, to use your phone from your computer with it wired. However, in this tutorial, I'm also gonna show you how to do it wirelessly. There's just a little extra step. So if we open up the Jenny Motion page, Jenny Mobile page, sorry. Jenny Motion is actually the other project from Jenny Mobile, an Android emulator which is very smooth and I'd recommend it to any Android developers. Okay, so we just have to find the wireless instructions here. Okay, so all we have to do now is we have to get the device IP address, so we can get that from settings about phone status. Okay. So seeing as we can view our phone from our computer now, I'll show you uh, where in status you'll find the IP address. So we'll go in on the phone, we'll go into settings. 
scroll down towards the bottom, tap about phone and then status. So something like this. We should see IP address here. So it's basically a number which will look similar to this 192.168.0 and that's just the uh, Android device's IP address on your network. And assuming that your computer is on the same network to the um, Android device, you'll be able to control it remotely. If it's not, make sure they're on the same Wi-Fi. So if you don't already have a, a Wi-Fi network, then you can create one by tethering from your Android device and connecting your computer to that. So once you've done, you're on the same network, get the IP address. Okay, so we now know the device IP address, which we got from settings about phone status, as mentioned in step two here. Um, and of course, we have to make sure, as step one says, that we're on the same Wi-Fi network as our computer in order to wirelessly connect to our device using this set of instructions here. So all we have to do now is we have to enable ADP over TCP IP. So we'll just copy this command here and we'll run a command window. So we can do Windows R to go to run, type in CMD for command, hit enter. Then the shortcut to paste is just to right click and then hit enter. So then it says restarting in TCP mode port 5555. So that's worked. So then it says we can unplug our device. So we'll unplug it. You'll hear the sound. There we go. Now all we need to do is we can reconnect to the device by using ADP connect the device IP and then 55555. So we'll just copy this and we'll replace device IP with the device IP address that we found in step two there. So mine is 192.168.0.75 and then we'll just hit enter. So now it's connected via wirelessly to the device. So then all we have to do now is just run SCRCPY as usual, and we should be able to get back into the phone. So let me just close up what I have here. I've got a few things running. Okay, so we'll just go into my desktop and we'll launch SCRCPY. Here it is, the executable. So whenever we want to connect, we'll just use this. So uh, as we mentioned earlier, if you're just plugged in, uh, you just have to open this and you'll run straight away. If you want to go wireless, you just have to do these additional steps here. Okay, so I've double tapped and, and you'll see it's pretty responsive still. Uh, so if, as I move around the screen here, it's still very responsive, even though I'm wireless. So this will depend on the strength of your network. Um, distance from your router and uh, factors like that. If if you do find that there is some lag, there are some advices here to decrease the bit rate and the definition, which will help to have, give you a smoother experience wirelessly should you need to. This page is very useful. It's got a lot of other useful advice here. Um, how to auto start device connection, you could use this. Uh, you could connect to the device from beyond your network as well, if you want to. There's a, a lot of other cool things that you can do here. Full screen mode, borderless. Um, yeah, so do have a look through this and uh, you, you'll, you'll be amazed with what you can do, including copy and paste from your computer to your Android device. There's some very useful features here. So do have a look through that. There's keyboard shortcuts as well. I'll put the link to this page in the description below. If you have any questions, uh, do post them in the comments below. In the next video, I'll show you how to get a desktop-like experience from your Android device. So if you'd like a look similar to this, check out our next video and I'll walk you through how to do this.